Hey, what's going on YouTube? Garnet here. Now that I changed jobs to a dealer that actually knows how to sell equipment. It means that I'll be responsible for a broader range of equipment. Speaking of equipment, <clears throat> this video is proudly sponsored by Brunt. The brand bringing you high performance work gear at honest prices. You see, not only do they sell a variety of high quality work apparel designed with you in mind, but they also offer rugged pairs of work boots like the ones I have here, the Destasio. Their leather nine inch composite toe with triple layered waterproofing. These things are tough as nails and even include a built in steel shank for the pesky little things. Check these out as well as all their other offerings at the link in the description down below and be sure to enter code Garnet 10 at checkout for $10 off your first order of 60. Before I was basically only responsible for hoist branded equipment and knowing what I know now, I could have had a lot easier life a long time ago. And with that comes the need to be a little more efficient, which is why I picked up the Vito Pro Pack XLT laptop series bag. It's one of those bags that's been out for a while, but really hasn't been covered to the extent that any of the other bags in our lineup has. So today we're gonna check this thing out and see it, if it actually can suit my needs. So allow me to start with the actual build quality of the bag. Now, Vito Pro Pack themselves say that they have a combination of 600 and 1200 denier nylon uh, covering this whole entire bag. In certain spots, you can also see that there is also leather, I don't know if it's real leather or faux leather reinforcement. Let me start out by saying that this is the most rugged bag I've ever encountered. Do you hear that? The handle itself is actually like stiff, a big rigid flap. That's like three eighths of an inch thick. They've reinforced the hell out of this bag, uh, which we got six large ish rivets that go straight to this double stitched folded back over nylon and i think this is probably the 1200 then your nylon it carries the whole bag it's just absolutely overkill then you have this solid rubber grip here that is contoured it it kind of feels like it's a better curvature like most most bags will have the way you carry it as a straight bar this one's actually curved and it kind of kind of contours to your hand while you're carrying it even though there's a lot of tools and a lot of weight associated with this bag. Make no mistake if you decide to pick one of these up, it's one of the heaviest bags you'll decide to carry. Let's go through it all. For starters, you have two sides. So this first side is, is a laptop bag. Laptop series means it carries a laptop. So on this side, you have neoprene pockets, a bunch of storage, four smaller pockets. You got four here. There's a nylon pocket over here, a mesh. Then you got a flap, two flaps. I, I think they said you could carry a camera here and then your safety glasses for some reason. But everything in there is reinforced. So even this, even though these are nylon pockets, you have a plastic backing for that section. And in that regard, if you could hear that's solid in there so that's the first side then here is where you get into your laptop and that specifically the reason i picked this up is because it has this laptop portion that looks like it's pretty wide a lot of bags will have a laptop slot that you know you could slide one in but i I have a tough book. Generally, the laptop I'm using is a lot thicker than you know your normal laptop, and this this looks that it will be able to fit the thickness of even a tough book. So they say you could fit a 17-inch laptop in there, and that sits squarely in the middle of the bag, where the biggest portion of the reinforcement happens is the backing of that portion. 
and it's a really it feels like a really stiff cord i cannot i cannot bend it at all so that's the laptop sits in the center behind all your tools then you have the other side which is your tool section all that space all those pockets all of these most of these are nylon or yeah most of these are nylon these two are neoprene bottom really good really rugged riveted to the bottom nylon in the bottom so you're not going to scratch anything on top of that you have this what's that two inch three inch thick poly base that's going to keep the bag and your tools elevated but it's it's not like other bases where you could probably bend it this thing over time feels like it's going to hold up a lot more than anything else I've seen in my life. You have these D-rings, and what's nice about this side is that you can click these together and kind of keep the flap out of the way, although that's not possible on the other side. If you see, once you flap that open, it just hangs there, there's no there's no snaps or anything for it to keep it rolled back like the other side. On the sides, you're also gonna have uh, uh, additional things like another D-ring and a clip for your tape measure. On the opposite, you have what is uh, a little, uh, I don't know what you call this, a little carabiner or whatever. But you can wrap, uh, you know, in the, in the promotional videos, they show you wrapping electrical tape around here and then folding it back over so you can easily access you're gonna have a nice medium sized pocket there for like maybe like a thin flashlight and some pen holders on the outside you got a shallow pocket and even a shallower pocket on this side opposite has this big pocket that goes extends all the way down here so it's this wide and extends clear down to here but then you got these, this flap, which also has four additional pockets inside of it. So this thing is pocket overload, reinforced and overloaded to hell. Even you've even taken the liberty of riveting <laughs> the outside of the bag to the base, clear around the entire bag. So I'm gonna use this to be sort of kind of take the place of two of my bags. Make no mistake that a lot of the praise I'm giving this bag is not because of new shininess, right? It's not because I got a new toy to play with. Let me show you something. Let me show you something. We are gonna show you guys the real deal around here. By the way, right? This is a used bag. It's used. I know, you probably couldn't tell, right? So normally this comes with a carrying strap that hooks to these D-rings and you can clip it in place and keep it out of the way. Another feature that it has, but the, really the only way you could tell that it's used is by the base. Let's get right at it and load it up right now. So here really quick, I'm gonna lay it all out for you. This is what I have to put in that bag. And as you can see, like I said, a lot of this is electric stuff, uh, my meters, screwdrivers, anything electric diagnosis type of whatever I have in this bag. Even, even the uh, remote starter and the uh, test light. And I actually need a different one, but yeah, everything. Down to my dielectric grease is in this bag so this is it this is everything that i gotta put in there and let's load it up
Well, that about does it for the Vito Pro Pack XLT laptop series bag. I got the thing loaded up both sides with everything I should need on a daily basis between both my electric bag and my laptop bag. So we'll go ahead and run this thing for a couple months and I'll report back to you guys and see how I like it then. But if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more videos. If you like, you can also check out my support links linked down below. But as always, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.